The man who allegedly raped and murdered a six-year-old Soweto girl made a brief appearance in the Protea Magistrates Court today. My colleague Calvin Lula joins us in studio for more on this particular case. Calvin, of course, a very heartbreaking story. And seeing there the Minister of Police, Senzo Mtun, also in court as well. Let's talk about that. Yeah, Bongi, we, um, we were told that the case was supposed to take place at Orlando. Um, magistrate court next to where this incident took place but we were also told that it had to move uh, to the Protea magistrate court because of people were very angry around uh, Orlando they knew uh, that people will come in numbers just to see uh, this alleged perpetrator so the case was moved uh, to Protea magistrate court it was pegged Bongi, where law enforcement agencies had to work very hard to maintain law and order because they had to stop other people from entering the, 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 the courtroom because it was so packed. We struggled, even us as media people, to get in because it was so full. When it started, we, you could see that Sanzo Mkun was very angry. Uh, he couldn't even look uh, at the guy. I remember when we interviewed him, he, he said, no, I can't even look at this guy because of what he did. It's a sad um, event, a tragic event, and people wanted to see. And that guy, you could see, he was wearing um, a black uh, T-shirt, and you could see that uh, he was carved on the legs, and he, he, he looked like he was confused, and he was moved around, and I think on him, it, it, it hasn't settled down that this is what he did. And it, it, it was so sad. And you speak about, um, you know, this community. I saw when you were talking to them how angry they were, um, even telling you that they want to take matters into their own hands. They want him here. But you, you also think about the family of this little girl that now has to process the news of what has happened as well. Some of the members were there. Uh, but they didn't want to talk to us, I understand, yeah. understandably yeah. so. Um, you would remember that you were not allowed to mention the name of this alleged uh, accused uh, because of he, did, he, was, he didn't appear in court as yet. But we can say it's Simiao uh, Petesara. Uh, he speaks Portuguese. Uh, in court there was an interpreter and uh, people howled him in court and they were so angry when he said he wants to, be, he wants to apply for bail. People were like, are you, are you okay? Why would you even ha say you want to apply for bail uh, after such a tragic incident? A very young boy, Bongyo, mm. 24 year old. And you, you, you can tell that people wanted him dead. Even outside, police struggled to take him off because people were waiting for him outside. There were a lot of police officers. I, I remember when I crossed with uh, the morning live in the morning, police presence, heavy police presence. Police were there and you could see that people were very angry. Mm. What the Minister of Police said today, he did mention that he knows that people are complaining about the competence of the South African Police Service members. And he says if he can be given a chance, an opportunity to, to work hand in hand with the community just to fix and remove those bad apples because he did say that uh, uh, he has gotten complaints from the members of the community because in Orlando, what frustrated the members of the community was that they were saying people, police are dragging feet and they wanted to go and search for the suspects themselves. They did. They even said, police, you can do your work, we can do ours. But the case Bongi was uh, postponed to the 1st of November for bail application, but the suspect is still in custody. All right, uh, Calvin, um, let's see then what happens with this particular story. But thank you so much for, for talking to us. That's uh, SABC News reporter Calvin Luther.